haven't got anything for you. I'm just taking photos outside. Go away. <laughs> really? I don't have anything for you. You're very loud. Look at your hair. You've got a comb over happening. Hey? Look at your hair. G'day guys, welcome back. Having a little play today. Nothing serious, just a bit of fun today. Trying something out. I wanted to make some gold sort of chunky pieces. And I thought, how about if I use my gold, my clear glass. That's it there. You can buy it eBay, Amazon, Ikea. I actually bought from Ikea because it was so much cheaper than eBay. I bought 10 bottles because I only had to pay $9.50 in postage. They're about $3 each. But uh, on eBay, because I have to pay so much shipping, it costs like $20 a jar. Anyway, I went a bit overboard and got 10 of them. So I can do lots of bling paintings. Now, I did do a video a little while ago on how to make different colored glass so you can check that one out if I remember I'll link it but just check out the glass um, colored glass that I made this one is gold and I actually used up my bottle I only had a little bit left so I used it up this one is the pinata rich gold um, I just poured some of the glass in there I do like to run it through a sieve first just to get all the little tiny pieces out and the dust out so I put some in there Give it a good shake, put some in there, stirred it up, tipped it out, um, and then you just have to let it dry just for a couple of hours. Just let it dry. Um, and then I like to use these little baby food containers, or you can use whatever container you like, but I like to just use those. And then um, you can just tip it in. I like to use the paper towel because it just helps to dry it quickly so there's all my gold look at that looks yummy doesn't it so I'm going to use that um, I'll just get rid of these put that away it's my rubbish so what I thought I would do is make some little pendants so not not the um the feathery or the petri or anything like that just some pretty pendants and I want to I'm going to use these round ones because they fit into my silver bevel tray bezel tray not a bevel a bezel <laughs> so they just they just sit in there and then I just glued them down so what I thought I would do is put some gold in these not too much because I want the background to show then I'm going to pour some clear resin over it and then when it's set I'm going to put some black over the top of that just to make some pretty pendants that's all um, when people buy my molds if I've got any, I'll put in a little freebie, um, you know, one of these or one of these, just any of them, and I'll chuck in some of these. I just, I just do it because I like making the videos, but then I think, oh, what am I going to do with them? So I just give them away to people. So if you do get a little surprise, that's why you got one. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Let me just zoom you in again now that I've moved the paper away. Okay, we don't need to see the whole mould because I'm only using the round ones today. I'll get my other glove on. Uh, I think I'll go and get a little teaspoon, unless I might have one here just, yes, my little baby teaspoons. So, uh, not sure how many I'm going to make. I've got a little bit of resin. Um, I had to do another project um, in my in my studio so I had a little bit of resin left over I thought oh, let's try this so like I said I don't want to put too much in I'd like to see some background so let's just put a little bit in first and see what it looks like because these molds are domed obviously they're um, deeper in the center there's something in there I did clean them with my bit of sticky tape but Sometimes you still get little bits in there. I don't know if it flew in with the glass or whether it was already in there. 
Okay, so here we go. I'm hoping they'll be really pretty and shiny once they've, you know, once they're in here. Because the um, the silicone is it's kind of sticky. These are kind of sticking to it, which is which is good because I was thinking, oh, they're all going to just fall into the middle. But I mean, they still may when when the resin goes in. But I'm trying to see if I can get a couple to sort of go up the sides a bit. But then when I pour the resin in, they may just all fall to the center. I don't know. We shall see. I'm just trying to open them up a little bit so that we can kind of see the black background when I pour the black. I don't want them all just to fall to the center. And then I'll decide if I want to put any more in. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know, I've never done this before. <laughs> I just thought how pretty would it be if, if it worked. Because I've actually got different colours. I've got lots of different colours of these made up. So I could I could do lots of different colours and you could do different colour backgrounds. Alright, I'm overdoing it now. I'm saying I want to see my black background and then I'm overdoing it. Let's see what happens when I put the resin in first, whether or not the pieces just all kind of flow to the center with the resin or whether they're going to stay on the sides might even be easier like once you've got your resin in you can just sort of move them around with a pair of tweezers or something you know if you think you've got too many in or you want one moved over a little bit so anyway here we go this is platinum platinum ultra clear food grade uh, apparently it doesn't do the amine bloom, although it's not really going to matter with this because the top is going to be covered with black. It's only the top that um, really matters with the amine bloom or blush. But because I'm covering it in black, we're not going to see the top. And the bottom will be nice and shiny because I've got a lovely shiny, smooth mould. Once your mold starts going like matte and kind of white, then your pieces are no longer going to be clear. And that's what happens with those, you know, those sort of whitish, maybe not, they're kind of transparent, sort of clear molds, those cheap ones. You know what I'm talking about. They, um, I have got a few and I've used them about five or six times and then they go white and they lose their shine. So... I have to throw them out. That's why I've, well, another reason why I've made my own and because I like this bigger size. So it's uh, it's 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, which is over an inch wide. So there we go. And I've got more resin left. So let's do another two, shall we? And it looks as if the bits of glass are going to stay where I've put them. See, even that one, see, it kind of creeps up the side because the the silicone is, mm, it's not sticky, but, you know, it's it's silicone. <laughs> I don't know, It's it grabs hold of things. This one might have a few too many pieces in it. So what do you think? Initially, I was just going to leave it as clear background, but then because you could be able to see the, um, the bezel tray, I thought, well, the clear might not look that nice because you've got gold pieces so that's why I thought well I'll do black I think that's a bit full that one mm, there you go you can jump in there so I'm not sure do you think I'm putting enough in or I don't know do we want to see the black through the whole thing I'll put a few more in now that I've Sort of up the sides a little bit. Actually, I might just sprinkle them in with my fingers. Actually, not so easy to do with gloves on. <laughs> See, now I know how much resin's sort of gone in up the sides. I can determine how ma how many more pieces I can put in there. So I've got to be careful, I don't want a whole heap going in with the spoon. Okay, 
All right, let's put some resin on these. I like the way they're staying where I've put them. That's great. I would have been upset if they all fell into the middle and then I had to push them all to the side again. So I'm leaving a little space for my black background. And um, I'll come back and do that in about four or five hours once this top layer is set enough. It certainly won't be hard enough to demold, but it's hard enough to, um, to put the next layer on. Okay, that looks good. Put a couple more in. Oops, that's a very big piece, that one. I don't think you belong in there. Oh, okay, you're in. Okay, off you go then. Now, if you're going to use tweezers to move them around, make sure that you clean your tweezers off really well with some alcohol spray and a baby wipe. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll be stuck closed. Yes, so be careful of that. Just pushing them to the sides. And this one can have a few more. I didn't realize how many I could actually fit in there. It's looking good though, and I've still got lots of clear background, which I think will look really pretty. Be able to see that black shining through. Well, not so much of the shining, but you'll be able to see the gold shining on the black background. This is where I always have trouble overdoing it and go, stop stop woman stop okay here we go how about we just leave it like that so i've got my baby wipe and i'm going to spray it with some alcohol just over here just spray the tips with alcohol give them another wipe make sure that they're nice and clean Put my lid back on that. I've actually still got some resin left, but that's all right. We don't have to use all of it. I need to order some more um, trays. I did order some, oh, I was like months ago, for the ovals from Amazon, but they never came, and I don't think they're coming. I'm going to have to order again. Now, I'm just using my tiny little blowtorch, just on a very low flame, just in the center of these to pop some bubbles. The good thing about this little tiny one is I can aim just for the center. I don't have to worry about melting my mold. So just for the center like that. Um, and then that's about it. So hopefully these will look pretty. And there's a bit of glass here that's kind of poking up a bit high. I'm just pushing it down. Um, anything that is kind of poking up, It'll get covered by the, the top coat, the black. And I'm hoping that because these are domed, it'll give a really pretty 3D effect. There's a bubble just in there. Just in there. Just try and release it and get it to come to the surface. And then I can pop it. Got him. Got him. All right, so that's it. Um, and um, I'll come back. I'll let these just sit there and contemplate life. Actually, this one hasn't got as much in as the others. A little bit more for you. Um, so, yeah, I'll just uh, let them sit there like that. And um, I'll come back in four hours or so. I'll have to do it before we go out. Oh, actually, oh, my gosh. It's quarter past three. I'm going out for dinner with my parents. I'm going to our local Thai restaurant my parents and my husband for dinner. Well, that's not going to work, is it? I've got to leave at six o'clock. That's only less, less than three hours away. So oh, maybe when I come back from the restaurant, I'll do it then. Otherwise, I won't be able to demold in the morning. So yeah. All right. I'll come back after dinner. <laughs> oh, going to have me some yummy Thai. All right. I'll see you soon. I'm back. I've got a little bit of resin in there, left over from topping my little wave coasters, which are just over there, which 
I guess you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> right, a little bit of resin in there. Uh, Art Tree Creations. Where is it? Batman Black. Let's put a little bit in. It's starting to thicken up, so it's probably a little bit old. So I just need a little bit of extra stirring and scraping off my stick, I think, to get it all off. So there we go. Yeah, that was a um, it was an experience during my first wave. <laughs> More practice is required. So, because I had two things on the go today, this one and then my wave coasters, which I was practicing on. Because I want to do an ocean themed clock. And my big clocks that I've been doing with my own clock mold. So yeah, I want to do an ocean clock. But I have to learn how to do waves first. That's the problem. Anyway, I'll get there. Hopefully. It's like anything else, isn't it? You, you can't expect to do it first up. You know, it takes practice, the right amounts of pigment and the right resin and the right white and all that, plus your technique and... <clears throat> It's just something that I'm going to have to practice so you guys can come along for the ride and we'll practice waves. Anyway, back to this one. Uh, just going to top off these. They, they are set now. So I'm just going to put a little bit on and let it just go off to the edges because it would be an awful mess if I overfill these. So let's start with just a little bit and see if it wants to run to the edges. I don't mind if they dome a little bit, as in, you know, the top's rounded, because as the resin dries, it kind of shrinks away from the sides. So if you don't fill them up enough, you get that little lip, sharp lip around the top, which will need sanding. But if you fill them up enough that they're just sliding to dome like that, uh, yeah, you won't have that sharp edge or lip problem. But you just have to be really careful that you don't overfill them. See, this one's good. It's gone to the edges. This one's nearly there. That one's there. That one's there. So now I just put a tiny little bit more on a few of them. And I'm hoping that the resin underneath is set enough. Because imagine if it wasn't and all the black ran through. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Sure would. Mm, I think I'll just use my stick actually just to... I don't want to put any more in it. Just ease it into the edges there. All right, you are done. Yes, you are. You're done. You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, and you are done. Look at that, hey, that was pretty easy. An extra little drop just for you. And I'm pretty much out of resin now, tiny bit left. So there we go, that worked out really well. Now I'm just going to torch. You can sit over there on a piece of paper towel. So in the morning, I'll be able to pop them out and, and put them in my bezel and see how they look. I'm hoping they'll look pretty with the black. I hope so. Oops, that's too much now. Turn it down a touch. Like I said, I was planning on leaving a few just clear, but then I thought, well, it might look a bit odd because you'd be able to see through into the silver, and I thought, well, the gold against the silver, it's just not going to pop. That's why I thought I really needed that black background. I think that's pretty good. Look across the top into the light and you'll be able to see if there's any bits of hair and fluff and things that you can quickly just get out and it'll show you up if there's any bubbles either. So I've come to the conclusion I don't mind spraying alcohol onto the back sides of something but I don't like doing it on the top side 
because when I did it on my top of something I did the other day, I could see these, when it dried and I looked across it, I could see like this speckling. I couldn't work out what it was. And then it occurred to me it must have been the drops of alcohol. So I'm not going to do it on the tops of anything anymore. I'm only going to do it on the back where you're not going to see it. That's what I think it is anyway, because I, I can't work out what else it could possibly be. All right, so that's that's that done. I'm going to come back and torch again in five minutes. But um, from me, signing off. And um, I'll see you in the morning. And we will unmold these babies. See you soon. Good morning. I'm back. These have set nice and glossy and shiny. Alrighty, let's see what they're going to look like, hey? I just hope they don't look like too dark with the black background. I hope that the, the gold still finds a way to shine through, hey? Now you could do a little bit of sanding along the edges if you wanted to. Um, or they may just fit straight in. We shall see. Right, are we ready? Oops, excuse my band-aid. <laughs> oh, one, <clears throat> two, three. Oh, that's really pretty. What do you think? It's okay, isn't it? Let me look over the top. Yeah. Oh, that's that's very sparkly and pretty. It's just what I was going for. Oh, there's a bubble. Oh, dear. Look, there's a little bubble. Oh, dear. Never mind. <laughs> These things happen. I mean, if you wanted to, if you, if, if you were a person selling jewellery, you could just put that on a little... Um, those little medicine cups, little tiny medicine cup, and you could just pour resin over the top again. And if you had any defects, you know, you, that's what you could easily do. So, radio. Now, I've got a little bit of overflow just there. So, what I'm going to do is instead of using the nail file, I'm just going to just trim that off. This is what happens if you sort of overflow them a little bit, you know, overfill them a little bit. You just get that, but it's easy enough just to snip off with your little cuticle cutters. Or if you wanted to, you could sand it, but it's just easier like this, I think. And we go all the way around and then we'll put it in hey, and see what it looks like. Nearly there. Might as well take a little bit more off. And of course, if you don't fill them all the way and mound them, then you don't have to worry about that. But then you've got that little sharp edge. But if you're putting them in the bezels, it doesn't really matter what the edges look like because no one's going to see them. <laughs> so it's a handy way of covering up the sides because no one's going to see them. There we go. So it's just trimmed now around the edges. Shall we see if it fits or shall we look at the other? Right, now let's see if it fits first. Here we go. So that's it there. <gasps> Perfect. It fits. It fits. Wow, look at that. All over the bubbles. Now let's get another one out. And hopefully we haven't got bubbles in all of them. bubble just there. I don't know why I'm getting bubbles. Oh yeah it's probably because of the the glass isn't it? The air's getting trapped underneath. What about if we put a layer of resin down first and then drop the glass in? I wonder if that would make any difference. Hmm I don't know but yeah I think that's what it's from because um poured the glass in. I put the glass in and then poured the resin on top. What do you think? They're so pretty, aren't they? Do you like them? They're all going to be the same. <laughs> Pop them all out. Yeah, we've got little holes in all of them <clears throat> where the glass 
as trapped air bubbles. But like I said, it's easy enough just to, and I, probably, I might even do that though. There's a big bubble there. Pour some resin over the tops of them, hey, just to smooth them over. Actually, what I've done in the past, I'll just get these out and I'll tell you. What I've done in the past, um, when I've had bubbles like this, um, I've actually, when I've got a little bit of leftover resin, um, what I do is I just dip my, dip my gloved finger into the resin and then I've got some um, resin on my finger, on my glove, and I just wipe the top like that. Um, yeah, and that's what I do. And that, te that seems to work really well. And that way you don't have to go and make up a whole batch of resin and worry about it, you know, dripping over the back and everything. So what do you think? Let's go over and have a little look in the, in the light. That's just in front of the, the window in my studio. It's beautiful and shiny. Except for the bubbles. It's a shame about the bubbles, but anyway, I'll fix it. I will fix it. I know how to do it. It's easy to do it. Should I video it for you? Mm, but see, that would be another day, and then I couldn't get the video up today. We'll see. I'll probably put it up, and then I'll just, when I have leftover resin, when I do something later today or tomorrow, I'll just go over the top and just cover them in. And then I'll hit it with a torch as well, then, to get the bubbles out from the, the top. That's looking really pretty, though. I'm happy with that. Well, let me know what you think, guys. And you could do, you know, you could do silver in there. Any colour. Maybe a little bit of glitter in there as well, maybe. But that might be a bit much. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks ever so much for watching. And um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.